Prince Harry. Yeah. Opens his scathing piece by asking, who the F do they think they are? The decision that I have made for my wife and I to step back is not one I made lightly. What I want to make clear is we're not walking away. And we certainly aren't walking away from you. This comes as a huge surprise as the royal family finally removed one of Prince Harry's royal titles. Prince Harry's His Royal Highness or HRH title has been officially removed from the royal family website, marking the completion of a process initiated three years ago through the Mexit agreement. It has been our privilege to serve you and we will continue to lead a life of service. So in that respect, nothing changes. In 2020, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, Harry and Meghan, they made a decision to step down from their roles as senior members of the royal family. We all know this by now. But then subsequently, the palace confirmed that Meghan and Harry would relinquish their HRH title. So his royal highness, her royal highness, all of that. And in January of 2020, an official statement released by the royal family communicated the details of this change in the titles for the couples. And the statement said this, the Sussexes will not use their HRH titles as they are no longer working members of the royal family. So it says it explicitly. Yeah, so they're furious that money, in their view, has been wasted on this royal employee, as, as you say, is getting yeah. a hell of a lot of money. However, it's only at this point that the HRH title has been officially removed from his profile, Prince Harry's profile, on the royal family website. In addition to this removal of his HRH title, his place on the royal family landing page has been adjusted as well. Now positioned closer to the bottom of the list and he trails only behind Prince Andrew, who of course faced controversy and is now disgraced. That is a very low point to be dropped. Wow. Above Harry and Meghan in the hierarchy are the profiles of the Duke and Duchess of Gloucester, as well as Princess Alexandra. And further updates have been implemented on the royal family's website. Notable adjustments to Clarence House and Kensington Palace sections to reflect the new titles of the King and Queen. Previously referred to as the Prince of Wales and the Duchess of Cornwall, the King and Queen's titles have been updated and similarly Kate and William's titles have been modified to the Prince and Princess of Wales, transitioning from their former Duke and Duchess of Cambridge designation. Buckingham Palace has released a statement regarding the website updates, acknowledging the changes being made by saying this, the Royal Family website contains over 5,000 pages of information about the life and work of the Royal Family. Following the death of Her Late Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, content has been revisited and updated periodically. Some content may be out of date until this process is complete. But the thing is, Harry and Meghan still hold the royal titles as Duke and Duchess of Sussex. And I swear they're holding on to those titles with every fiber of their being. Like it's surprising that so much of what Harry and Meghan have said and done has been to live independently of the royal family institution. He wasn't going to receive security. What? Is really hard. Yet they won't relinquish the royal titles. Interesting, right? Like at this point, like I think it's obvious to everybody that these royal titles give them a sense of prestige in a way. And I think it's also a safety net in case they ever feel like going back to the royal family at some point. Like I could imagine that it's easier to hold on to your title than to relinquish it and try to reclaim your title if you ever decide that you wanna go back to the royal family. You go to that family, you tell them how you feel. Maybe there's also some legal implications here too where maybe they have some paperwork signed with the royal family and some agreements that have their their titles in them and they don't want to mess any of those agreements up I don't know but yeah it just seems like they're really trying to hold on to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex titles for whatever reason it, clearly it's for some type of benefit because if you want to be independent of the royal family just be independent of the royal family why carry the royal family titles? It's definitely a little strange, guys, but I wanna know your thoughts on this. Join in all the conversation down below and be sure to follow me here on FTD News if you haven't done so already to keep up with more videos posted like this every single day. Boom.